Hi, this is Rob Waller from Business Loan Services and welcome to our weekly business finance bulletin, our Friday roundup of news, tips and ideas and strategies on raising finance and dealing with banks. So what's caught my eye this week? Well, the CBI, that's the Confederation of British Industries, um, has issued a new report called A Slice of a Pie, which looks at um, a very underutilised source of alternative finance for businesses, and that's equity. That's selling shares in your business to bring fresh money in to finance growth. Now, they found that only 3% of British businesses have raised money this way. And this compares to 7% of businesses in Europe. So we lag behind. Now, why is that? Well, perhaps not unsurprisingly, the report found that 46% of UK business owners said they wouldn't consider raising money this way because they fear about losing control the fear of decision-making being taken away from them. And yet, 26% of businesses that had raised money this way said that it had helped them raise external finance, because obviously banks saw new, fresh money coming into the business and thought this was a much better proposition for them. At the end of the day, 81% of business owners who'd raised money through selling equity said that they would recommend it to their business colleagues. So, if you're wondering how you're going to finance your expansion plans, take a look. And if you run a limited company, think about selling some equity or some shares within your business. A great way of bringing new money to fund growth. Crowdfunding, as you know, great fan of it. And the Peer to Peer Finance Association raised some figures this uh, last week about what they've done in 2013. And they reckon that its members have lent out about £843 million in 2013. Now, that's a very small amount compared to the overall size of the market, but you know, that's not an insignificant sum. So those numbers continue to increase. So as I said before, if you're looking to finance growth through debt finance and you want to bypass the banks for some reason, check out all those crowdfunding platforms that I've mentioned before. So what I've been doing this week? Well, this week I've been uh, doing two seminars. Um, we did um, a session for Cardiff Business School for MBA students on business planning. As you know, a very important aspect of raising finance and also an important aspect of running a successful business. So we were taking them through some of the key aspects of writing a top-notch business plan. Wednesday evening, I also spent in the company of 50 accountants with the industry body, the ACCA, looking at the whole issue of access to finance. So we spent about three hours all together looking about what banks are thinking and how to get that elusive yes, and also on the alternative finance scene as well. That was a great session there. I had a good time chatting to all those accountants in the room. I um, also spent some time this week with some bankers. We had breakfast I think it was on Tuesday morning with four bank managers to get a sense of what's going on in the market, a regular keep in touch. And it's clear that uh, they want to get out there and start lending money. But they are seeing some kind of mooted demand amongst business owners. But the appetite from the bank's point of view is there and they are looking to fund good businesses. And that's the key, good businesses. So you know, funds are available, so worth knocking on the door of your bank manager to see what they've got for you. And what's my tip for you this week? Well, it's around skill gaps. Now, one thing banks look for when they review a loan request is what skill set do the business owners have? Now, we know that you know, as entrepreneurs, we don't all have a rounded skill set. We don't have every skill necessary to run a successful business. So what the banks are looking for is where are those gaps? And more importantly, what have you done to close that gap? Now, there are things that I'm good at and things I'm not good at. So I will outsource or get other people in to do those things for me that either I'm not good at or I just plain don't want to do them. So when you're putting a proposal together or a business plan for the bank, sit back and think, what am I not good at? What risk am I creating for my business? And then once you've identified that skill gap, whatever it may be, how are you going to close the gap? How are you going to mitigate that risk? Can you outsource it? Can you bring a new employee in? Can you get somebody else within the business to do that task? So have a think about it. What's your skill gap? So that's it for this week. I hope you've enjoyed those tips and I look forward to being with you again next Friday, sharing with some you some more tips and ideas. Catch you next week. Bye now.